that was the women's doubles. This is the men's doubles and a mouth-watering clash later on when the last matchup is Jung and Lee against Kai and Fu. But before that, who will they meet? Ko Yu or Asan and Septana? Because that's the men's doubles match on right now. The Korean pair, the number five seeds of Ko Sung Hyun and Yu Yian Seong up against the Indonesian duo Mohamed Asan and Bono Septano, who are seventh seeded here for this week's World Championships. Well, we have the prospect, I suppose, the possibility, Morton, of a, an all-Korean final. Yes, you're so right. That's definitely possible. And a match we are looking forward, aren't we, to that but, uh, final you know, match? In, 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 in all fairness, uh, I hope not. You know, it's, it's always nice to, to have different nations playing. You know, if, when Malaysia is playing Malaysia, China playing China and all that, you know, we, we want the excitement. So uh, even sure. though Korea has got two very, very good pairs, I hope we're not seeing the, both of them in the final. <laughs> in, in terms of the game, it's important for the game. Well, here's Ko and Yu, who are the number five. See, two years together as a partnership. They first came together at the Asian Badminton Championships, reached the final, which was a pretty decent start. Quarter-final defeat last year at the World Championships to, to Boa Mogensen. And here you can see they have uh, won this year the Swiss Open Grand Prix gold. They've reached some quarter-finals. Lost surprisingly fairly recently in the opening round of the Singapore Open, but generally they get to the quarter-finals and beyond. And here's how they've got here. Taken to three sets by Hancock and Ellis. Of course, Hancock... Uh, Still involved in the mixed doubles. Took on their compatriots Cho and Quan. 32 minutes it took, and I have to say they were very impressive yesterday, beating Q and Tan of Malaysia, the number four yeah. seeds. Yeah, they played really well. Fantastic match. They were in total control. Fifth time in a row they've beaten them as well. Yeah, maybe you know they're just loving it to play them. There's certain styles obviously suiting you and others not. Well, this isn't Indonesia's number one's men doubles pair. Of course, that's Marcus and Hendra, Marcus Kido, contracting typhoid, so not here this week. His brother is here, though. The one on the right, Bono Septano. They've been together as a pair for three years. They uh, had to save a match point yesterday against Burma so we'll look at those games in a moment, but... You'd have to say the Korean pair favourites here, would, or not? Or? Uh, not really. No? I think it's 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 a very 50-50. It's uh, to me, it's a very 50-50. Obviously, you know, you can have good and bad days, and that can be the deciding factor. But but they beat Chow and Guo, who have beaten them many times this season already. They beat Boa Mogensen. They'd never beaten them before. Yeah. They saved a match point as well, didn't they yesterday? They did. It was a very close match and. Obviously very disappointing for the Danes. They had high hopes in this tournament. Yeah, the number two seeds out. Umpire is from Canada, it's Eric Desroches. And the service judge is Oolong Hu. So they'll be hoping for a quiet game ahead. Get ready for this men's doubles. Well, if it was to be an all-Korean final, it would uh, guarantee, of course, Korea's first gold at the World Championship since 2003. Koen Yu had a terrific record over yesterday's opponents, Ku and Tan. We're saying it's uh, five wins out of five. They have a 100% record against this Indonesian duo as well, two wins out of two, most recently in March. But but then again, Arsene and Septano hadn't beaten Bo Mogensen when they played them yesterday, beat them for the first time. They came through in the second round as well, the third round, their second match against Cho Gun Wu and Kwon Yi Gu. And they lost to them a couple of times this year as well. So I think the Indonesian pair is, is a, a rising pair, a pair in form. I think every time we see them, they, I think, tend to be a little bit better. And also this tournament is showing the same. Yeah, they're only 23 and 24 years of age. I think they play well in, in Qingdao as well in uh, in the Sudirman Cup, even though I think they were split on occasions. Yeah, they were. Yeah, that's right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Bona Septano Mohamed Ashan, Indonesia. Because, of course, not Marcus Kido and, uh, and Hendry didn't play in that either, did they? No. And on my left, Yu Young Sung, Ho Sung Yun, Korea. Bona Septano to serve to Ko Sung Yun. Of all, play. This is one of those matches that could go one way or the other. Service over. Yep. One and low. here we saw where the Korean pair is really strong. All the flat uh, exchanges, watch out. Service over. One all. Pretty fiery stop. Too loose. Too high. Service over. Two, one. That is pressure. Playing really well, the Indonesian pair here. And this is what they did yesterday against Bo and Mogensen, didn't they? They were really electric in their play. Yeah, and I think especially Septano, he was playing very well. Septano's serving now. 251 there from oh. Oh. Service over. Three, two. Oh. There by cool. Three, four. Not happy with that one. Almost hitting the carpet. Came in Korea. Oh. Well disguised by Asan. But unfortunately for the Indonesian pair, it's going in the net. But look at that. He's really, he's caught uh, cool on that one. I don't think he would have got to it. Yeah. First one was good, the second one not. It was called a let because Septana was not ready to receive. And the, co, uh, the big speculation and, and the talk has been that Ko will team up with Lee Young Dai after the Olympics next year as a partnership yeah so the two it's a fair Kore chance for that two Korean pairs will be split and you know if you look at it from a coach point of view I think they will possibly suit one another's style really well because Lee Young Dai he, he, he's very good but he doesn't hit that hard if he's got a partner like Koo that really hits well 
they can be they can be really strong as they showed at the US and Canadian Opens recently when they did team up together and won both events <laughs> yours mine yes no, no, exactly no. yours again <laughs> service over five Seven, eight. Perspective. Indonesia Nine, looking seven. for their first world title in four years. Of course, they have oh. one other big option here, which is, of course, in the women's, in the mixed doubles, I should say. Tentoe and Liliana, who take on and come oh. back here later. Serving. Hey. Oh. Oh, that's well played by the Indonesian, especially Septana when he's actually in his defense playing a very constructive defense and, and changed uh, the defensive situation around and they um, managed to oh. win it. Yeah, that, 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 that's signing for the winning shot. Nice play of cool. He was out. You know, left. I think the racket broke. In contact with the floor. But well left by cool. for a little knock-up. long so it's uh, Ko and you have the slight advantage here at the interval but it's been a very even start hasn't it to this first men's double semi-final <laughs> haven't really learned too much have we from that first no. bet in the match now as we predicted from the very beginning it's a very very tight match, it's uh, as anticipated and 11-10, uh, you know, anything can happen. I just don't know. I just still feel 
I, I, I feel that uh, the Korean pair is, is having a little bit of a, an upper hand, even though it's not really materializing in, in terms of the score. I think they have a slight upper hand. Indonesian pair is defending really well, but it's not attacking as much as I had hoped they could. Or they had yesterday, really. Exactly. 11 10. But all play. credit to the Korean pair. Lovely touch from the back of the court here from Mohamed Hassan. Yeah, very nice drop shot. Oh. Bit of a miss. Service over, 12 11. Perfect sir, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> it was well defended by the Indonesians. But eventually they lost it. That's well picked up. 13, 11. attacking positions and, and fight more for the initiative as what they've done here since uh, the break. I think they're standing a, a good chance. So it's 12, 13, it's, it can go either way. So yesterday, that's one of the weaknesses on, in, in the Indonesian pair is, is uh, our son around that position if you play the shot softly in around his body and and head and all that he tends to make mistakes and that's what the danes exploited yesterday and we saw an example of that here right now another mistake there as well for some judgment these mistakes then cost dearly yeah, suddenly it's a three-point advantage make that four Uh, there hasn't been anything to choose 16, between them, has there? 12. No. And suddenly it's quite a good lead. But somehow the, the Korean pair is getting their points slightly easier than the Indonesian oh. pair. <laughs> and then they make a point like that, you know. The curse of the commentary, <laughs> that's not what you say. <laughs> exactly. 13, 16. He won a bronze last year in Paris. That was in the mixed doubles, but he's... he's this is not so much the power. It's much more the angle. Look at that angle and the steepness of it. That is, that is what did it. Yeah, as you say, two, nearly 260, which is fast enough, but... It, yeah, but it's the angle. The angle was really, really good. See, that was the wrong player that tried to do it with uh, Septano at the front, the, the Korean player, 14, trying to play these soft 17. shots in around the middle. But Septano is really good intercepting them, where Asan is, is having far more trouble. So they have to choose the, uh, the moment right. Oh, that would come across. That was there. Asan said, OK, I'll have that. Yeah. That was the chance. 15, 17. Good awareness, though. Yes. So that four point lead's been halved. Oh! It's long. Sixteen, seventeen. Oh! 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 Oh!
silver. 18, 16. Just confirmation of what you were saying, really, wasn't it, at that point? <laughs> Great point. Well, that's what I mean, I mean, the nation normally win their points. It's, it's like this, they really have to fight hard to get them, where the Koreans are getting them slightly easier. Service over, 17, 18. Well played, good attack at the net. Doubles with Ha Jung won last year in Paris did Ko Sung Hyun. Just been able to stay ahead. Two point lead, two points from the opening game. Two against one for the moment. Well, well maybe not. <laughs> Unbelievable. How about that from you? Take a bow. <laughs> On the floor, still able to play. Fantastic shots. Milk it, why not milk it? <laughs> game points. 20, game point, 17. They were targeting But that is it. really tight plate. <laughs> Let's see if he can do it next time while drinking a cup of tea as well. <laughs> points here. Yeah, it was a chance to take by you. Service over. That one there. 18, 20. Not fast enough. And then it's intercepted. Spectacular retrieving from Yu Yeon Yong. Almost the spectacular. Air this one here, go. this one is pretty close. So four game points have become one. Hence the worried looks there on the Korean coaches' faces. was all that was required in the end. Well, it became very entertaining, didn't it, towards the end of that first game. Yeah, very good play from both sides. Yeah, a very enjoyable first set that went the way of uh, the Koreans, partly thanks to some spectacular shots from Yu Young Jiong there, 21-19. Oh, 
자세 딱 잡힌 거는 제가 할 수는 있어요. Somehow they've got to try and get attacking more, haven't they, Sipton and Asan? Yeah. I, I, I think they're, they're settling in well. I think they played a very good first set. And um, they could also be in a situation if they can continue like this, they can tire out the Korean player a little bit, take the top 10% off, and then uh, if they can maintain their standard, they will win it. It's just a very tight game. Yes. It's good to see the way they're deep in conversation here. 20 seconds, you and Co. 20 seconds. Co's a, a bit of a darling as far as the, I think the girls are concerned back home. He and Lee fighting over for who's the most popular. Second game of all play. Second set picking up by the first left off some fast and furious exchanges. One low. But again, as Morton was suggesting, the points just coming a little easier. They're not always having to win them as such, the Korean pair. Well shouted. He was one. just about taking it. And then the shout from behind. Leave it, leave it. Oh, that's not unlucky. Right, nice break for Coke. Three, one. Scoreline right now doesn't make too pleasant reading from an Indonesian perspective. Service over. Two, three. Of attacking game from the Koreans here. Two power smashes from behind and then this very Two. steep interception. Oh. Good power, very good power from our son. Service over. Three, four. over 
this point here. Service over, 5-3. Sorry, guys, I was way out. I think the Indonesians would like to have the umpire to say that it touched one of the Koreans on the way out. Massive difference between four and suddenly being six three down. At least the right decision was made. Yeah, it was out, definitely. wasn't it from Septano but that one is good the counter-attacking shot there really good service over yeah that's seven They've never That's been how I get that feeling of the fact that the Koreans are winning the shots at the red is a little bit easier than the Indonesians are. Yeah, and they've, they've never, the Indonesians have never been able to stamp their authority on the opening game and, and the same here. Yeah, it's, it's like here, flick serve and then smash way out of court, one point. You, you hardly ever see the Koreans do that. They, um, they make you wait for your points. Tano wasn't ready, so... Happened for the second time now. Yeah, Ko will have to serve again. And this time it was not too short. Good attack down the line there. Really hitting well along the line. And not towards the centre. which one of them was supposed to be serving but yeah sometimes the you can't remember you just play Eric Desroches soon reminded them oh. see as long as they're on the front foot they look a good pair don't they yes service over six good finish nine. from the front of the court here very powerful by Septano If, if you can do it, I can do it too. But unfortunately for Ko, he couldn't quite match his partner, you. But I'm telling you, that shot he's playing sitting is not bad. The cross-court shot he's playing. This one here is coming up here. It's actually not bad. And almost managed the spits at the same time as well. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> and this is a taste of things to come as well, because the last match on the men's doubles, Kai, and yeah, and tonight. Fu, yeah, yeah, against. Uh, That's going to be a cracker. Yeah, repeat of the 2009 final to come tonight in the semi-final in the men's doubles. But these these uh, four players are trying to 
Play for the right to get in the final, meet one of them. It's so important that the, the court is not wet because uh, having water on this surface means it's so slippery. And obviously you you don't you don't want injuries. So uh, we've already it's seen an ankle injury today, haven't we? Yeah. To that one, the Indonesians, but eventually. Well, it's, uh, it's not been comprehensive, but it's it's looking good, isn't it, for the Koreans of you and Co. right now? Coming towards the halfway point of these semi-finals these World Championships in London. Cohen Yu are creeping towards tomorrow's final. And in some respect, Cohen, you were probably been pleased to see Bo and Mo Goodson knocked out by these two yesterday, seeing as they lost them in the quarterfinals of the World Championships last year. They probably fancied themselves more against these two. Yeah, I, I think... Um, you can disagree, go on, Morton. Because I, <laughs> I think you were about to. <laughs> no, don't worry. Come on. No. 11, seven, I would just like play. the Danish pair to win. It, it's so important for the for, for the Danish BA, and and it's important for you know funding everything uh, oh. that we uh, we get the points we, we need. Seven. We needed uh, for what they call championships points uh, from this tournament, and you get three for a win, two for silver, and one for a bronze. And uh, obviously, having only only Peter, Peter yeah. in the semi-final, we. We're most likely looking at maybe just one point. And we were oh, oh. hoping for four. But didn't Peter have to dig deep last night as he well? He had to dig 13, very, very seven. deep. And I, I was so impressed with his performance last night. Um, I think, though, now that uh, it might come to an end because he's, I think he will be suffering. And playing Lin Dan suffering is not fun. No. Mike, did he get on this to get to the point and then give himself the angle? 14, 7. He was on springs here, wasn't he? Yes. That finish is really good. This one that's coming now, how he's coming into that. <laughs> 266, the speed of that smash from Cope. Misjudgment, though, by leaving things, but... 14-8 now, it's, uh, it's uh, well, commanding not, leaf. Yeah, not quite unassailable command is the perfect word. <laughs> it's an enormous lead. <laughs> yeah, it looks very promising for the Korean pair. Another, another easy one. Service over. 15-8. Over, 9.15. This is the first time you see the, the Korean pairs giving two easy points away. 10, 15. Otherwise, you have to take everything yourself there. Don't give it away. Oh. Oh. Nice 
puts one through the legs from uh, Asan Ebrik. Uh, was all to no avail. You got very surprised by, 16, by the angle. 10. This one coming here. Could hurt yourself doing that, couldn't you? <laughs> if you're unlucky, yes. 273 from you. Pretty quick one. That's a nice shot. Fabulous. Very, very nice. But it's so interesting to see that the Korean pair is backing. In their defense, they are standing quite far back and obviously opens up for these kind of very good drop shots. And now the Koreans are going for power and angle at the same time. That's in. It's yeah. way in. They're getting a little edgy, I think, as they get closer to getting to the final here. said at the start of the week that they wanted to reach the semi-finals of the World Championships for the first time. They've done that. Obviously, the goal now is to reach the final and play for gold, and they're very close to doing that as well. As I'm very disappointed on his high surf. Ooh, yee That is well done. That is a very well disguised shot. 18, 12. Going completely the wrong way, and look at the coaches how happy they are. That was a good shot. Service call called. Service over. 13 18. Long group calling the service fault there. So just 14, something looks a 18. little edgy. <laughs> They've got enough of a cushion, really, that I think it really matters. It's close. This one is close. Look at that. Oof. I'm talking about one or two millimeters. There isn't he in 270 mm. plus. Service over. 15 19. Him. Yes. The coaches on the Korean Service bench over. was really 20. holding nice their breath. Well, you see, one. they were very relieved yeah. getting that one. A bonus point that brings up five match points. Oh. That's a good angle. Well, they say. A match point yesterday against Bo and Mogensen with Hassan and Septano. But this is a completely different task. Here yeah, they've got to save 20. five.
So the whole nation of Indonesia will be shouting Satulagi, which means one more. 20. Well, actually, uh, I don't know, what's it, what's, it, what's it for three more, though? <laughs> <laughs> Sad to do a digger. Very good. Very, I'm very impressed. <laughs> Sunjun and Yu Yun Xiong have booked their place in the men's double final. And the prospect of an all Korean final in this discipline at the World Championships this year is still a prospect. They've really entertained us whether they're playing shots from on their backside or overhead smashes. <laughs> they were very, very good. You enjoyed it. The coaches enjoyed it. So into the final they go. Will it be Kyle Fu? Will it be the compatriots Jung and Lee? We'll find that out later on. Indonesia's hopes of a gold medal for the first time in four years now is down to the mixed doubles pair of Tentoi and Liliana because Ko and Yu have come through here against Asan and Septano. 21-19. 21-17. Well-deserved drink. We're buzzing after that. Championship final for the first time for them. The uh, crowds make their way to the exits. Of course, we're now at the halfway stage of the semi-finals. Five down, five to go. Cracker still to come. All straight sets wins for the five matches we've seen so far. So Ko and Yu, they're there. They're in the final. Kai Fu, Jung Lee, that's later on, the last match on tonight. And that's going to be a thriller, the repeat of the 2009 final. So we'll find out then whether it will be an all Korean affair in the men's double final at these Yonex BWF. World Championships 2011. It's been uh, some surprises in that half, of course, with Boom Mogensen exiting. So simple yesterday for Kai and Fu against Conrad and Rasmussen. Human Lee having to come through 26 24 in their victory over Hung and Shen, but they always knew, didn't they, Jung and Lee, that the big match was going to come against Kai and Fu. They met each other, oh, something like 14, 15 times, and <laughs> honours are very even. Um, is that one too, too hard to call, Morton? The other semi-final? It is. Uh, my money is on the Chinese. Well, they've won this title three times out of the last four. I think they've got a little bit extra. Again, we're talking about exactly the same situation as here. How easy are they going to win their points? And I think, you know, the Chinese can win their points a little bit easier than what the Koreans can. Well, I'm looking forward to that. But uh, for the time being, it's Koen Yu's time to celebrate their place in the final. 